Aloha Ohana. In this video, we're going to be talking about forgiveness, okay? So I have a few scriptures that I want to share with you guys that is talking about and going over God's forgiveness for you, amen? Okay, so the first one I want to go over is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, okay? Here we go. And it reads, And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake have forgiven you. Amen. Amen. I know that, you know, it's forgiveness is like a healing process, okay? So through the process, we must trust God and put our trust in the Lord, okay? Especially when it comes to forgiving ourselves, because a lot of us, oh, it's a hard time for us to even reach for God sometime and ask Him for forgiveness, because some of us, we feel unworthy, amen? And to be honest, who is worthy, okay? Not one of us can raise our hand and be like, I, I'm a good person, I'm a good person, do you know what I mean? I do no wrong. None of us can do that because it doesn't take a good person to receive salvation from Jesus Christ. What it takes is a willing heart, amen, a repentant heart, someone who's believing, trusting in the Lord with your everything, okay? Putting God first, seeking first the kingdom of God, amen? So right here, let's go over John chapter 3, verse 16, okay? And it is written, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. Okay? This right here is a living example of God's depth of love for you and I. God's love is eternal. Amen? God's love is eternal. He offers you, okay? And it's a free gift, okay? He, it's a free gift. Jesus Christ, what he has done for us, his finished Work on the cross, died with our sins and our transgressions, for our sins and our transgressions, okay? But yet there's some of us real over there holding back of praising the Lord because we feel like we unworthy, okay? Know that none of us is worthy. The one who is worthy is the one who gave it all for you and I and for the world. To be saved and transformed, okay? So verse 17, it is written, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Key word, through him. Amen? It's not only about carnal, or I read my Bible, or I read my Bible, or I know, I know, I know. It's not about what you know. It's about what you believe and put your trust in you trust all that you see with your carnal eye for whatever you see to be true do you trust what your emotions are telling you for it to be true or are you believing the lies of the adversary when he's putting all of this junk before your carnal eyes and in to fluctuate your your um your emotional state and get you feeling like you in one twister you have to keep your eyes on the price, amen? You have to stay rooted and grounded in prayer. You must arm up in the mighty name of Jesus and know and claim, be sure and steadfast in Jesus Christ and know that he is your foundation, okay? Know that Jesus Christ is your foundation, amen? He's your Lord and your Savior. It is through him, amen? Through him that they might be saved, amen? Okay, now verse 18, in, it, it is written, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, okay? So those who believe it not is condemned already, okay, guys? For years and years, I just going to share this. I've shared this before, but the Holy Spirit is nudging me to share this. For years and years and years and years, I've never felt enough. I never felt worthy. I never felt like I actually existed. I felt like I was just 
there. You know what I mean? That, I don't know how to really say this, but I just felt like I was just an observer in a way. Because it was like, as I was growing up, like nobody really seen me or got the, the, the time to, to get to know me for me. And I never know who I was either. So how can someone get to know me if I don't even know me? You know what I mean? Sometimes people can get a better perspective from looking from the outside in, but not always the case and not truly. Because the only one that can see you from the inside out is Jesus Christ. And he's the one who searches your heart. God checks your heart. He searches your heart. He try the rain on the rains on your heart. He doesn't go on what you doing. He doesn't go by how much money you make or how good of a person you are. God doesn't measure oh how tall you or how handsome or how beautiful you are or how much people like you. Or if how much people don't like you. Like God don't look at the outside like man look at the outside. Okay. I notice we're in um, not only fashion but shopping in general. Especially in self-care products. Beauty products I should say more like. I get it and I see and understand why. It is very. If the packaging looks all sparkly and pretty and cute. People are going to buy it. They really don't care about what's actually in the package. They're just looking at the, the outside packaging and that's what they want. They they want the pretty part. They want the pretty, the nice. They're not too concerned of the benefits that you can receive from the product. They, they like the packaging. So if they have a generic brand that has the same ingredients as the fancy package, people are not going to buy the cheaper one because it's cheaper they're still gonna like the glitz and glam one because then they already trust that the brand or that label and they're looking at it like oh, okay the team must be good because look at the packaging it's really nice and fancy so they're gonna lean more to what looks appealing to the eye when the generic brand is exactly the same thing but it's the packaging is basic no glitter, no special font, no color. It's just this basic package with all the information you need to know. And that is it. Boom. The ones who purchase the, the, the generic brand is those who is not shopping or choosing based off looks. They're going by what can this thing do and how can I save money? Because once you rip open that thing and you use it all, the wrapping goes where? In the trash. In the trash. What are you actually buying is the product that's within it, right? Okay, well, it's the same thing with us. For those of you who are feeling like you're not worthy because the world oppresses you because of what you look like, you may not be... Uh, I'm not saying that you're not, but some of you may feel like you're not beautiful enough. Trust and believe that the beauty that you are is not something that you can see with your carnal eye. Your beauty, beauty comes from deep within you. It's not your shell, okay? It's not your shell. You know how many times, oh, thank you, Jesus. You know how many times I shock people, okay? Because people misjudge me all the time. So depending on how I dress, because I get days where I look like I'm going red carpet. Some days look like going go prom. Some days looking like I just beach bumming it. And some days super casual. But I love comfy, casual clothes. And I like, um, you know, dresses and stuff like that. Because the reason why I like dresses is because you, it's just one piece of clothing. You just... Slip it right on and then boom, you're done. You don't got to have all, you know, pants, shirt, this, that. No. Simple. Boom. Good. So anyways, going off track a little bit. Don't mind me, guys. That's what happened when I start free-flowing. Anyways, I throw people off because 
I'm like all oh, girly girl and everything and people judge me by my cover by what I look like right so boom I walk into the the door I, I feel like I'm racing this women okay I don't mean to do it it's just one natural thing it just I do this if I'm walking up to the door like of the store and um I'll hurry up and get to the door first and like sometimes like the women I see them they're like um, looking at me like, what, oh, you're trying to do race me? <laughs> and I feel like that's what I'm doing, but I'm not meaning to. But I just, I'm a fast walker, okay? I walk fast. So, sorry guys, I walk fast. Anyways, so I get to the door, and then I open the door. I beat them to the door, and then I open the door, and I, I look at them, I smile, and I tell them, go, in, go, go ahead, go inside. And then they're like shocked and blown away, because in their head, they must have been having these thoughts like, Oh, I don't even want to tell you guys. But anyways, like, you know, they're like really misjudging me at the moment until when I blow their mind and I stop, I smile at them and I tell them, go ahead, go inside. And then they're like, oh, they're like, oh, thank you. You know, and you throw them off because the packaging, the outside, no match what get in the inside. Honey, what get in your insides is way more beautiful than the packaging. Okay, because the outside don't matter. The outside don't matter. Okay, all the beauty, okay, what this world considers to be beautiful is plastic, rubbish, okay, rubbish, the world's perspective of beauty is so superficial that, we, that it turns people who are so beautiful and have beautiful hearts into recluses. They don't want to get out. They don't want to go nowhere because they feel like they're just not enough. The thing is, you don't need, you're never going to be enough for a system that is built to tear you down. Continue to put your trust in God. Elevate your ears to the word of God. And do not let the adversary put these, put these thoughts in your head telling you that you're not beautiful. That you're not strong, that you're not good enough, or that you're not worthy and that you're not enough. Elevate your ears to what God thinks of you. And do know that do know this. God's thoughts of you are more than can be counted. Okay? Hmm. God's love covers you. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks, okay? Trust and believe. I'm already, what, I'm 37, okay? I'm a, I'm, a child, I'm a child at heart, okay? So I'm 37. I get, I get old people give me stink eye. I have middle-aged people give me stink eye. I have little kids give me stink eye. Like, oh my goodness. But children love me, okay? But there's a handful of them, like, like to try tests, right? Or because they listen to what adults talking, so they make their own judgment across um, you or anybody right so the thing is people always going to look at you from the outside and they're examining you when in reality they need to be examining themselves amen especially as adults because if you have kikis we are the living example for our kikis and we're supposed to be not telling them how to do what we're supposed to be showing them so with the word of god we're not only telling people what god has done for us we're showing them by the way we live we're a living testimony of what god has done for us personally and for everybody else okay so where jesus christ is our lord and our savior we share that with people why because we want others to be saved as well growing up i had dreams of dreams of the dreams of the dreams of this big wave and people drowning okay guys people drowning and it was like the days of noah okay so people drowning and i don't want to see nobody drowning okay so i am very 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 so happy and so blessed that god has continued to give me the encouragement and the strength to push through even when i seen some subscribers oh one day i had this much subscribers oh two people gone and then god blessed the channel with three more people you know what i mean lost two but gained three you know what i mean and i'm like okay lord 
I'm not going to get critical with myself. I'm not going to start putting myself down. I'm not going to focus on the numbers, but I'm going to continue to put my eyes and fix my eyes on you, Lord. But I do want the numbers to go up, and God knows that, but it's, it's not the numbers to go up for my face to be out there, but the numbers to go up because and then I it's like, yes, one more person that I could share this message with. Yes, one more view that this person when you guys watch the video you you i guess it's what it's called the algorithm it stimulates the algorithm for the good news of jesus christ to be spread okay so you you tickling the algorithm for other people to see and watch and it's been a little over a year now that i've been doing this consistently and i've been getting better because at the very beginning of my channel I was still very much in my emotions. I was still finding my way, but the Lord was with me the whole entire time. So please, please, please don't pass no judgment. And if you see anything that may rub you the wrong way or whatever, or how it was said, please pray about it. Um, know that I'm just here to share the word of God with you guys. And share a part of my life as well with you. And I'm growing in grace as well. Okay, Ohana. I wasn't raised in a household where they read the Bible. Okay, nobody taught me anything. Okay, nobody taught me. The Holy Spirit is the one who is leading me and guiding me through. And that's what it's all about, Ohana. Okay, putting your trust, on, putting your trust in God. Seeking God first. And allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you through. Okay, I am humbled by the word of God. I am humbled by the word of God. When I read and it just grabs a hold of me like a warm blanket. I can feel his arms wrapping around me. And I, the, when the tears is falling, it feels so good because it's release. It's a release and a cleansing and a release that I needed to be able to exhale and let go. Okay. So nobody can tell you. When is the right time to read or the right way to pray? You go to God with it. And you just lay it down. You don't even need to say anything. You can just sit there with him. Yeah. And be still in his presence. He knows how you feel. And whatever you, you have on your heart that you want to let go, you just let it go. Amen. And continue to persevere and push through in the mighty name of Jesus. And don't give up. Amen. Don't give up. God loves you. He sees you. Amen. All right. I want to go ahead and share with you Psalm chapter 86 verse 5. And it reads, For thou, for thou Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. All right, Ohana. We must be calling upon the Lord. Amen. He has plenteous mercy for you and I. Amen. And he is ready to forgive. God is ready to forgive in the mighty name of Jesus. And God wants you to be ready to forgive too. Okay. God wants you to be ready to forgive too. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 6, chapter 14. And it is written. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. We're gonna... Everything, every little petty thing that is going on in your life right now, repeat after me. Thank you, Jesus, that I am here today and I am alive and I have good health. And I thank you for all your blessings that you're pouring upon me. And Lord, for all the petty things or any nuisance or any Goliaths or anything that is coming from the adversary, Lord, that I am not aware of, Lord, I claim your victory and I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus, everything that is trying to stand and rise above you, Lord, 
You are the one, Lord, who will exalt me, Lord, in the holy mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you are the one who lifts me up in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, in all the petty things, Lord, is dissolved in the mighty name of Jesus. For Jesus Christ is the one who washes you clean and edifies you and lifts you up and saves your life. For he is the atonement for our sins. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, for everything that you have done, Lord. Remove from me, Lord, everything and anything, Lord, that is not from you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray that your will be done. Amen. Here on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us through on this beautiful and blessed day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, Ohana. That was a lot to repeat after, but God is good. God is good. Okay, Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 and 22. There you go. And it reads, Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft, yeah, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him till seven times? Verse 22, Jesus said unto him, it is written, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Okay. When someone wrongs you, hurts you, God is already ready to forgive us. God wants us to be ready to forgive as well. Amen. And to push through and to persevere. Because do remember, people who hurt people, they are hurting deeply. Especially if you're a really kind-hearted person and people go out of their way to do you dirty or do you wrong or make you feel small or hurt you. Those individuals are really being tormented and they're miserable. That's why they do what they do, okay? You got to pray for these individuals, okay? Pray for them and know that everything that they're coming up against you with and trying to throw on you, it has nothing to do with you. You give it to God because God is the one who fights on your behalf, amen? God is the one with the shield of faith. He quenches every single fiery dart that is headed your way. Amen. Claim it. Trust it and believe it. Because Jesus Christ has already done it all for you, honey. Okay. Psalm 32 verse 1. It reads, Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So I haven't go check my um my shorts video. I did one the other night with the roses, and then somebody went to um thumbs down yeah, and I was like I was like oh putting this person <laughs> I wasn't like oh like sad like oh why they thumbed down my video I was just like oh this person must not be in a good place right now for put one thumbs down on a video where um it's a short video so there's no sound there's actually um lights my roses that my honey brought home for me and i went put um you are covered by the blood of jesus amen and the the thing was um john chapter 3 verse 16 for refer them to that to go and read that right and the person would put thumbs down for the video and i was like Oh, putting this person, okay, so I'm going to pray for that person, yeah? So when you see people put it, giving you thumbs down in real life by trying to bring you down, honey, the only reason why they're trying to bring you down is because that's where they are at. So we cannot go down in the pit with them. What we do, we edify them anyway. We lift them up, yeah? We pray for them. We still show them love and aloha, amen. Because some people, they're real... Um, really really like they just really hate your guts okay like they really just do not like you no matter how nice you are because they're gonna smile in your face and then talk all this kind behind your back some people they talk while you're still standing right there like so loud them out and they it's not so much that they want you to hear it's just that they're so oblivious on how petty and pitiful they look and they sound 
So you got to pray for him, Ohana. Got to pray, pray, and pray. Because got people out there holding on to things they don't even own and that they don't belong holding on to, okay? Got to give it to God. Keep on lifting it up to God, okay? People are quick to pass judgment on you. People want to pass judgment on you over every little step that you make, every little thing that you do. But guess what? Who is the judge? Our Heavenly Father. Does Becky down the block got to say? No. Does Joe Smo got to say? No. Who is the one who had the first word? Hallelujah. He's the one that's going to have the final word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. And that is the word of God. The word of God is final and true, eternal and righteous. Amen. And it is living. Amen. Okay. So Luke. Chapter 23, verse 34, it reads, Then Jesus said, it is written, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. They know not what they do. Hallelujah. And they parted his remnant and cast lots. Father, forgive them. Jesus Christ was asking for forgiveness for the sinners, for they do not know what they do. Do you know what you do? Do I know what I do? I didn't know what I was doing for a very, very, very long time. And still to today, I keep reaching for the Lord and putting my trust in God because I don't want to be wandering around not knowing what to do. Amen. I want to be steadfast, sure, and ready in the arms of the Lord, in the hands of God. Amen. Amen. So if Jesus over here is praying to our Heavenly Father, asking for forgiveness for them and saying that, you know, they don't know what they do. They don't realize Amen. They don't realize there's a lot of people walking around. They don't know what they do. Okay. And on the real, real, all of us, to be true, me too, we don't know what we do sometimes. Okay. And that's why God is always ready, what? To forgive. And God is teaching us with all the lessons and everything that we go through and the way people treat us is conditioning us. To get thicker skin, not only for be strong, but for us to put our trust and be strengthened by the Lord. Amen. Okay. I know it can be very hurtful the things that people do and the extremes that they go and the lengths they go to make it very clear that they don't like you. Okay. I know it can hurt sometimes, but then you guys think about this. They did that to God too. They did that to Jesus. They did that to him. And of course, if you are walking and working with the Lord and you following the legs of the Lord, you, you will be also prosecuted. You will also be faced with all of that, what Jesus had to go through. Okay. What they're doing to you or what they did do to you, they did that to Jesus too. So you pray and you ask the Lord for forgiveness for those individuals because they do not know what they do. Amen. Okay. John chapter 20, verse 23, it is written, Whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted unto them, and whosoever's sins ye retain, they are retained. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Okay, okay. 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 We got to give it to God, Ohana. We got to give it to God. We have to surrender. Okay. We have to surrender. I have my notes over here that I wanted to make sure I tell you guys. Okay. So, Hannah, pray for God's discernment and trust God through the process. Amen. And don't underestimate your prayers and the seeds that you sow in your Ohana or out there, you know, when you're sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. In your testimony, in the mighty name of Jesus, keep pushing through. Keep 
on pushing, keep on sowing, and keep on watering. Amen. Those who water will be watered as well. And Jesus Christ sees you for who you really and truly are. Okay. Jesus sees you. Through all the facades, through all the labels, through all these superficial things, God sees you. Amen. Nothing is hidden. God is good. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're still here, please like this video so someone else can watch this video as well and be inspired by the word of God. Please get into the word of God for yourself. Elevate your ears and don't only be a hearer, but be a doer as well in the mighty name of Jesus. And you are becoming and blossoming into the person that God has created you to be. You have to trust the process, Ohana, okay? Trust the process. Just like how when a flower blooms, it is doing a dance, okay? It is opening up and it closes and it opens up a little bit further and it closes and it opens up all the way. Amen? And it exposes what? The goodness in the center. And that's the pollen. Okay. So you, my honeybees and my butterflies out there who love to share the word of God with, you, with others in your community and in your ohana or even, you know, when you're out wherever, whatever you're doing. God bless you. And thank you so much for doing so. It is very encouraging to see other people getting out there as well. And I really enjoy making these videos to share with other people. Amen um yeah keep pushing forward god is good and he loves you so god bless you in jesus name amen and aloha